Hi and welcome back to Film Pickle. I am Pushkaraj. I am Raviraj. And we are not from Yashraj. Yes, and today we will be reviewing Transformers 4. Uh, we got to watch the movie yesterday as a preview before it officially released. And honestly we are not too excited about it. What do you think Raviraj? Uh, just the trailer. The trailer only said, I mean the trailer only spoke to me. I, had, I didn't have like really great expectations from the movie. From the trailer which came out to be true. Uh, wasn't that great? Uh, it was. It was just another Transformer movie. I mean, uh, I think this was the shittiest Transformer movie ever. I mean, out of all the four, this I I, I didn't like this one. I okay, like this I, one. I I I wouldn't call it the shittiest Transformers movie of the lot because part two and part three were really crap. Like I, I actually enjoyed part one. Part, part one was the best. No, obviously, the, this. The, the whole part is the whole thing that from what works for Transformers. In my case, is in part one they were, they were mechanical. They looked like they could take a beating and they could fight. The parts moved like entire segments, and then it started getting overly mechanical. Oh, too much gears. You could see too many minute parts. You can't imagine a robot like that taking gunfire from shells and cannons and everything. Still survive. Yeah, they look too fragile. Too. See, that's that's too technical. What I hated about the fourth part is basically all the first three parts had some strong storytelling. Had yeah. some strong storyline to it. Like uh, if I'm talking about the dark side of the moon, it had a really nice uh, storytelling which they connected events from the past and they made a story out of it, which they did in the uh, in all the parts. The fourth part, there is no there is no strong storyline to it. It's it's just events after the events after the events, and uh, uh, just like any other Michael Bay movie, this has lot of lot of action like. Too much of action which you can't digest. Too much of uh, machines banging on each other. Too much of sparks. Uh, uh, I I didn't I didn't enjoy. It. I would agree on the part that it lacks story, but I think part four at, at least has more story than part two. Part two was I I don't know where the story went. It was like explosion, explosion, more transformers. Oh my god! I found new CG. Let's do this shit. Oh my god! This can move like this. Director says go move that shit. Let's explode that shit. And that's it. And in Transformers four till two third of the movie. Actually, gone on with very low expectations, and I was like amused. I was like, "Oh, this is above my expectations. This is quite neat. I actually maybe like it." And then when the last part came, it felt like Michael Bay is having a Christmas sale of explosions. Like, mm, you know yes. what? I haven't blown up enough shit throughout this movie. Let's blow up everything! <laughs> and there was a fire fight that came from Boondock right. Saints. That just happened. exactly everything and blew up. Yeah. What I hated another thing. There were too many cliches as usual. Dinosaurs. Like, the, yeah, the dinosaurs were there. And how many how many more times you're gonna kill Optimus Prime and bring him back to life? I mean, how many times does it gonna happen? I mean, what is he? Is he? He's a Rajnika. Yeah, he's a Rajnika. What is he? He dies, come back. Dies, come back. Dies, come yeah. back. How many times we see it in every Transformer movie? Like some shit happens. This dude is so fragile. This dude is so vulnerable that he any decision can kill him, right? And he just like comes back saying. Ombak and shit like that. I, mean, I, 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 I think, think what they wanted to say from the movie is that once Rajni Kant had a robot and he was Optimus Prime. You know, you fucking can't kill him. He dies, he comes back. He dies, he comes back. He dies, he comes back. And now they have brought in like a seed for part five, in which again Optimus Prime is expected to come back. Yes. And I will not waste my money on that movie. Yes. I directly yes. downloaded to the right. DVD. So let's talk about the good part. Like, yeah. what is it that you like? The good the part of Transformers Four. Uh in comparison to part 2 and 3, part 4, the robots are a little more mechanized again, or the little gears and too much in being into the action is out. You know, when the camera goes too close into the action, you miss the magnificence of the robots transforming into cars and cars transforming into robots and vice versa. This had a little more of it, so I enjoyed the robots a little more in this. Right. Uh, what I liked is they have changed the designs of the uh, robots this yeah. time. So uh, Optimus Prime has a different design, not a different design, but more of a modified design. Yeah. Uh, he looks more muscular. He used to look all boxy, so now he is like more muscular and stuff like that. So these difference, the even the even Bumblebee has some uh, good changes. So these changes uh, are we miss we miss the old good robot. We miss the Iron Head. He wasn't there. The, the thing Maybe. I like the most in part four was the way the so called villain. Is modeled around Steve Jobs. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it, it is he is totally amusing. He is totally yeah, Steve yeah, Jobs. You can see totally that Jobs. Michael Bay clearly wanted to mimic Steve Jobs in this character. 
along with the bald head and carrying that apple around and creating the jellyfish wallpaper that he wanted. Right. It is hilarious in a way. Somehow, did at any part do you feel that they had a less of CG budget this time? I found the CG to be uh, not that great, to no, be very honest. No, but luckily, it worked for me because part 2 and 3 went overboard on the CG. Like too many gears turning, too many little things happening, too many explosions together did not work for me. This seemed a little more real. At least the film got a little more value as a film rather than just a CG display case. Right, right. So, so yeah, that's uh, it. Get ready for too many cliches, typical Michael Bay movie, as we are saying that Michael Bay have now become the Rohit Shetty of Hollywood, blowing up things, again and again, blowing uh, I, up cars, I, I think again and again. 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 Optimus yeah. Prime going Thakur towards yeah. the end saying exactly. Mujhe Gabbar zinda chahiye yeah. He's mine Like but every other As movie. a completely Indian guy or a person who values his money I think that it's a 3 hour So almost a 3 hour movie So at least when you go to the theatre and pay the money It feels like a little value for money Haan, Did you miss? Did you miss? Sam Bitpicky Yeah I think so Yeah I did. Uh, I did. I like that oh, part of this. There's another movie, thing. Yeah. I think Michael Bay has a thing for girls with daddy issues. Maybe. Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. Daddy issues. All four parts have Optimus Prime and a girl with daddy issues. <laughs> uh, so, Michael Bay, that says a lot about you. Anyway. Great, yep. That would be my review. I would rate it a 5 out of 10, honestly. But since I enjoyed the action, I'm probably rating it a 6 out of 10. I would say, what time watch? Go watch it, have fun. Over the weekend, it's a worth watch. Right, I would give it uh, 5.5. That uh, level up to 6. On yeah, that I mean, yeah. So 6. 6. Yep. So go waste your money on a better movie this weekend. Watch Transformers. Don't watch it in 3D. Save some money. I mean, there's nothing great about 3D. So and watch that is all there is for this week. Thank yes. you for watching. Take care.